What's up guys, Miguel here, quick video. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be straining paint with this five gallon bucket uh, paint strainer. Um, I've already put it on a clean, empty bucket. Um, what I did was I poured this paint into this paint and uh, it's, it's right up at about five gallons. Um, it's pretty much full. Let me see if I can get a top shot of this. See, that's the paint that I want to strain. I got a new one right there. This is the one that I poured over here. And then this is what the empty bucket looks like. And that is a super clean bucket. And uh, try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, trash can right over here so that I don't make a mess. Make sure you got gloves on. And I'm just gonna pour this whole bucket. See, it's a little bit uh, on the chunky part with uh, dried paint and whatnot. And then over here, I kind of like to leave the, the paint thick in the bucket so that when I peel it, it'll all come out in one piece. So now I've got two buckets that I can use for, uh, for later use. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna just take your strainer and then you're gonna pull it up. And then what you end up with inside is paint that's already strained when I hook up my air my sprayer to it. Um, it's gonna be perfect. Take your hand and then you're gonna just wring out your paint strainer. And then you can actually put the paint strainer inside your glove or whatnot, um, right next to the trash can. So is strained paint. And uh, I could hook up my sprayer to it and then my brand new one once this is all gone. Uh, that's how I strain paint. Uh, let me know in the comments if there are any other uh, better ways to do it. Thanks for watching.